Hi everyone, I'm Audrey and this is It's On. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm really glad you're all here. So today, uh, we're in March, it's been a little rainy here, uh, and I've been craving casseroles. And when I was growing up uh, in the Midwest United States, we had a lot of casseroles as meals, and they all had one thing in common, and that was cream of mushroom soup, usually Campbell's. Uh, we can't eat Campbell's on the AIP elimination phase. Um, so I thought I would try to recreate cream of mushroom soup today that I can use in casserole recipes. So you'll see the mushroom soup today, and then at least one or two casseroles probably this month that I use with it. So I'm excited to try that. The other thing I wanted to let you guys know about is in April, I'm going to try to do a series on uh, renos that you guys have asked me for. So if you have a recipe you would like renoed, uh, just put it in the comments below and I'll see if I can add it to the lineup. Without any further chatter, let's get cooking. Okay, everybody, um, I'm back with the soup. Um, let's do a little taste test and see how it goes. The, um, I'll show you the, uh, it is nice and creamy. I did add a little bit of arrowroot starch to it to thicken it just to give it that um, smoother mouth feel, I guess they say. So let's taste it, see how we did. Oh, that's good. Um, if you want to eat this, just like, like I blended it quite a bit for, because I want to use it in casseroles. It's actually really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. Um, so I blended most of it to make it uh, more smooth. But if I were just making that simply to enjoy as a soup, which I think I will in the future, it's quite good then I would not uh, blend it or I would just blend a small batch and add that little bit back into the pot. The other thing that I would say is I did it in the Instant Pot today, but honestly I think I would probably just do it on the stove top um, next time. It takes about the same amount of time and uh, it just would have been easier in a larger Dutch oven or whatever. So do it either way. I'll put instructions below for both of those. I hope that you enjoy this as much as I do. Um, I will show you how I use this in videos to come. So we'll see you in the next video.